Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's a uh, it's a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Uh, once 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 again, just just to be in the presence of God with with all believers. One that oneness that we have, that oneness that we share as being children of of God and loving Christ. It's an amazing thing. Um, my heart is overwhelmed by the the blessings that God has just to be able to have us come out and just be able to worship together. Pastor Jeff put something on our um, on our group me uh, where all our board members uh, would come together and uh, we were talking about the mask wearing that we are doing currently right now and um, the instant, um, instant um, mandating it um, throughout our uh, what you call it, a county Franklin County and uh, how we were going to approach that bringing it to church and then he had shared a uh, message that uh, a pastor friend of his had shared and uh, it, it, it touched me. I'm certain the other board members could uh, say the same. And it mainly talked about how other countries cannot worship right now. They have to worship in hiding. Okay? They can't worship out loud. They can't cry out loud. They can't sing out loud. They they uh, are uh, you had one gentleman who's um, uh, he's been uh, convicted and is in prison for um, for Christ for loving Jesus for praising and worshiping the way we do and all we have to do is come to church and wear a mask and I'm like I, you know, that touched me here and it made me think and it made me think of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego can you bring that up on the prompt? it says Shadrach, Meshach and the band to go answered and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. We do not need to defend ourselves another way to say it. We don't need to defend ourselves. In that case, or in, in this case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning and fiery furnace. Because if you know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, um, Nebuchadnezzar had built this this idol, okay, kind of like what we're dealing with right now with this woke ideology, okay, this um, this strange mechanic that wants us to bend the knee and whatnot, okay. That we're dealing with that here in, in in the Americas. We're dealing with that across the world right now, currently, okay. And I boldly speak against it. It says, if in this case, whom we serve. God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning and fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set, up, set upon us, that you have set up. That also says this. They believed the promise that Christ came centuries, thousands of years later even. They believe that already. But we have the benefit of it had already happened. Yeah, okay, Christ has already came and delivered us. His hand reached all the way back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay, we talk about the spirit and the angel that was in the furnace then. Okay. And then you have Paul and Silas. That happened after. It happened after. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego happened after Christ's crucifixion, okay, where the chains had fallen off as they worshipped Christ, okay, the presence of the Lord was there, but it wasn't about us, it wasn't about them, it was about Christ, it was about that glory, God got the glory, and it was always better when God got the glory, God got glory here, he's getting glory today, we, we, we praise and worship God today for the glory that he's bringing to us today. Okay? He doesn't have to deliver us from the fire. We don't need that. But we believe and trust that it's done. Yeah. The revelation has already been promised. Yeah. We believe that. We trust that. And we will obey it. Lord God, we thank you for your revelation. Lord God, we thank you for the sacrifice that you the sacrifice you gave, gave for us on the cross, Lord God. Lord, we're going to worship you today like we had never worshipped you before, Lord God. To thank you for all the good and great things you've done for us. 
Lord, we don't need you to deliver us from the fire, but we need you to get the glory. Yes. We need you to get the glory, Lord God, because it's always better when you get the glory, Lord God. We learned that in our scripture, Lord God, and we believe it and we trust you and we love you today. Lord Jesus, we believe in your revelation. We believe in what the end has, what you said is going to come in the end, Lord yeah. Jesus. The Alpha and Omega. Yeah. The promise that you made to Eve, and uh, Adam and Eve in the garden, Lord God, when you said that you, 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 you're going to, in, in her seed, Lord God, that you're going to stop the head of Satan, Lord God. And, and then it was done when Christ died on the cross. And it will be done when revelation comes to pass, Lord God. And it is done today. We believe yeah. you for that today. We love you and we thank you. And let us worship God. Spirit. 
Give him everything you have right now. 